Chuck, I think, is really an engineer's engineer. I mean, he's, he's the kind of person that every time you see him, he wants to show you the new thing that he's built, the new thing that he's created. I think it's pretty fair to describe Chuck as the engineer's engineer. He has an enormous range of talents. He can design power supplies at one extreme, and he can write programs with interesting user interfaces at the other extreme, and just about everything in between. What I think inspires Chuck is not just the ability to create new things himself, but to create things that will enable other people to create new things. It always feels like he's putting so much of his own personal energy into everything he builds. You know, he's so passionate about it. He cares so much about it. Uh, he wants to show you all the details of it when you come to see him. Uh, and, and it really shows in the things that he's created over the years. I and mean, if you go back to his early work on the Xerox Alto, um, the work on the Ethernet, the work on the tablet PC, I mean, that passion is evident in all of those inventions. Working with Chuck is a pleasure. I mean, we sit down and we discuss things, we talk about things, we brainstorm. Uh, he's a wealth of information. I, I'm amazed at how much he knows. People like Chuck never retire. They keep coming up with great ideas. They're passionate about technology. They're always working with younger people, and I think they, they challenge them to, to keep coming up with great ideas and driving our field forwards. What draws people to Chuck as a mentor? The fact that you know when you're working with Chuck, you're in good hands. I have always strived to make simple designs, and with Chuck, that's probably the most elegant thing that you can do. The thing he's most famous for, of course, is having done the Alto, which was really the prototype for all of today's, what you think of as normal personal computers. It was the first time that all the elements of what we think of as a modern personal computer were put together in a form that would really capture people's imagination. After he joined Microsoft, the first major thing that he worked on was the prototype for the tablet PC. And I think it's pretty fair to say that we wouldn't have the tablet PC in its current form if it hadn't been for Chuck's prototype work, because it just wouldn't have been possible to develop the software. Uh, he had taken a, a laptop, he'd sort of cut it in half, he flipped it over, um, and he was showing me this new software that he and uh, some other people that we're working with that were doing. And, it was so exciting, and you know, I think it's, that's, that's the experience I get every time I talk with Chuck. So Chuck, I'd absolutely like to offer you congratulations, both personally and from all the folks you know at Cambridge. Getting the Turing Award is fantastic recognition of all your lifetime achievements. Well done. Chuck, I'm really glad to be able to congratulate you on having won the Turing Award, and all I can really say is that it was uh, very much overdue. Congratulations on a spectacular achievement that you might very well consider the pinnacle of your career, but I know that there's a lot of great stuff still to come, and I look forward to being there to see it with you. Chuck, the one thing I want to say to you as you win this award is thank you. Thank you for all the technology you've created that's made my life better. <laughs>